Today we're going to make what I call a uh, plague formula. It's a uh, formula for uh, various things. Uh, it will speed up your blood and it also helps heal. It's uh, good for if you have hemorrhoids. You just put a little of this on the hemorrhoids and it'll start to shrink in one day. And within about oh, maybe three, four days, they'll be gone permanently. You don't have to, you know, you get these medicines that only uh, make it so it isn't painful, which is ridiculous. You know, why not get rid of it? Although I must warn you that it'll burn just like you're putting a match on it. But um, it'll get rid of it. Because basically what a hemorrhoid is, is it's the blood vessels that blow up like a balloon. And what you need to do is to put the uh, hot peppers on it in order to cause it to shrink so that the blood will flow it gets rid of the blockage. It's also good for uh, herpes lesions and it could be good for other things. It's also good for, you put it right on it that is, and it's also good for if a person has a heart attack it will start their blood flowing. One herbalist said it was like a uh, um, where, they tr where they bring up um, a defibrillator. He says it's a liquid defibrillator because it'll start the person's blood flowing. It's always good to keep some around at all times. So what you need first is the uh, jalapenos. Jalapeno peppers, which are very, very hot. That's what gives it the appearance of green fire. I cut the uh, tops off of them and put them in here. Put them in this uh, mixer. Just an ordinary mixer that uh, will grind them up. Now we've got the uh, jalapenos in there. This one just happens to be a yellow one, but most of them are green. And now we take serranos. These are more chili peppers. They're a little bit larger. I'll uh, cut the tops off of them. Like that. With a little <laughs> stem on it. Probably best to, you know, cut them up into, a, let's say, half this size and put them in the uh, mixer because we want to grind these up. And now we got the garlic. Gonna get the uh, husks off of them and they come out um, the um, it comes out one bulb uh, produces several of these you get several of these um, I believe they're called cloves I'm not sure but uh, they, uh, the bulb breaks up into different pieces off the bulb here. You get these and, uh, and you just peel this off of here, the husk. And there you go. And you put these in the mixer. A little more husk doesn't matter if you get some in there because you're going to strain it anyway. Each of these uh, cloves is actually a bulb and if you see there a little bit of green you could actually plant that and you'd have a plant growing. Now we have it all in here, the uh, jalapenos and the garlic and the serranos. Now we need the ginger.
Now just uh, cut the ginger up. We're not going to use all of it. But the smaller the pieces, the better because it uh, grinds it up easier. Sort of like putting ice for a margarita. Or a malt. Use the same blender. Just an ordinary blender. It's not a food processor. Could probably use that too. Cut it up in small pieces. Now many medicines from ancient times often used alcohol as a as a carrier. And of course you don't drink very much, so it's not gonna affect you. Just plain cheap vodka costs about ten dollars or less. And you have to do just like you're doing a malt. You got to put enough liquid in there so it'll grind it up. You can also use apple vinegar too. You can use apple vinegar too. Um, I've always used the uh, vodka though. Seems to work fine. And also vodka goes right into your bloodstream which kind of carries it. It's a, it's a carrier. And it gets it into your bloodstream and gets your blood circulating. Now you mix it up. You see why I call it green fire? It's green, but it's very, very hot. This is just barely liquid enough, and it'll bubble at the top just like a malt, because it traps some air down here while it's grinding. You want it thick. You want it to be strong. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this mixture, <laughs> and whew, you can smell the whoo, <laughs> garlic and all, and pour it in here. Use a strainer, just an ordinary kitchen strainer. pour it in here and it starts pouring through Now you uh, take a big spoon and try to press it through to squeeze out the liquid. Now you just take an ordinary jar that you've cleaned. Uh, There's probably um, olives or something. Or, uh, oh, I know, salsa. And take this and uh, put it in the jar. And it will keep in the refrigerator for, I've never had it to spoil. One guy, one herbalist said that uh, uh, one of them, uh, one 100 years old, uh, knock your socks off. You know, like uh, Hiroshima, knock your sock off. <laughs> now, if you're feeling ill or you 
think he had a heart ha having a heart attack or something he just um, pour about a shot glass you swallow that down and you'll have steam pouring out of your ears believe me thank you for watching the uh, this can save a person's life it's uh, really good stuff it's very very hot so <laughs> Sometimes you may want some cold glass of water to to um, get the hot heat out of your ta uh, mouth, and you can feel it go all the way down. As soon as you have uh, swallowed it, within seconds you'll actually feel the blood flowing in your head, and you'll feel the blood flowing, and you'll feel warm. And that's good. That gets your heart to pumping and gets that blood circulating. If there's a blockage or something, it will. Sometimes it'll unblock it, but it's it can save a person's life. Thank you.